Hello watchers and subscribers, today we will see scrollable tabs with fragment in Android and this tutorial, entire tutorial will be divided into two parts. So don't forget to see both the parts. So scrollable tab means it will be used if you want to create the more number of pages or more number of options in your program. For example, just see here you are getting two tab. So if you click on tab A, you will get the output of tab A. If you click, if you uh, move on the next page tab B will open if you move on again next page tab C will open so in this way you can add many pages and this concept will be used if uh, you want to put more number of pages in your program okay or if the data is more in your application in your app then you can use the tab concept and you can easily move from one tab to another tab and for doing this you can have the fragment concept for that you must have three java classes if you have three tabs so java class names are nothing but fragment a b and c you must have three resource file like frag1 frag2 frag3 whatever the code you want that you can do it then in each java class you have to use on create view method it will simply attach your resource file to respective fragment class okay if you have any confusion go through my previous tutorial for the detailed explanation so by using this code here fragment 1 will be attached to the fragment a java class that is nothing but fragment a same code you have to do for remaining two also after that you have to use view pager why we are using view pager because we want to move from one page to another and we want to get the pages so for going from one page or switching from one page to another page you have to use view pager with the adapter okay so for that you have to use custom adapter you need to clear, uh, create one separate class my page adapter you can give any name it should be extends with fragment state page adapter that is the base class to move from one page to another page without losing the connection of previous page so once you complete the code for my page adapter then you have to go in the uh, you have to write this statement like fragment manager object get support fragment manager because we are switching from one fragment to another so you have to write this statement then you have to create the object of your java class that is my page adapter pass the instance of fragment manager then you have to set adapter vp is nothing but the object of view pager because we are using view pager to switch from one page to another okay then bunch of code will be required for my page adapter here the get count method count the number of pages number of tabs we have three so we have written three after that from switching from one page to another you have to write this code so this is nothing but position zero means first page this is second this is third so in the first page we want the content of fragment a so we have written this statement then fragment b and c finally written f okay if no pages will be there it will return null value after that the important statement is pager title strip it will be used to create the title for the tab okay for that you have to use it and you have to use inside the view pager otherwise it will not work then after that you have to use get page title method it will be used to create the title again you have the same type of code position 0 1 2 0 represent first fragment one represent second second represent third fragment so the title name for the tag is tab a next tab is nothing but tab b and next tab is nothing but tab c so in this way you can create the name for the tab and you can switch from one fragment or one page to another page so this bunch of code is required for doing this task so i hope friend you understood this tutorial and don't forget to see my next tutorial because in the next tutorial we will do the programming in android studio thank you